Hey friends, it's your pal SVH coming at you with today's Bolo Saki by Hazrat Nayak Khan for August the 22nd, 2023. He is living whose sympathy is awake, and he is dead whose heart is asleep. He is living whose sympathy is awake, and he is dead whose heart is asleep. So this really alludes a lot to um, how we treat others, right? You know, and, and a lot about how we treat ourselves too. Um, because you have to have a living heart in order to really experience life. Um, and when you're not really um, living with the fullness of your heart in the open heart, you're, you're really in a death-like state um, because you're, you're not feeling the fullness of life. You're not feeling really the joy of life, the, the beauty of life, um, because it's not flowing through you in that way. It's coming through in the wrong ways. Um, he, is living, he is living whose sympathy is awake. So when you have a sympathetic, we talk a lot of in you know in terms of frequency about sympathetic resonance, right? So when something resonates in sympathetic resonance with another thing, it resonates on the same frequency. So if you take a guitar, and I got some guitars on the wall here. If I hit a guitar over here, ping the the E note and let it ring out then pretty soon the E note on this guitar over here is gonna start ringing as well, um, just naturally from the resonant frequency carrying it in the room. And I've talked about this before in videos. Um, another really great example um, that I've talked about before is the Tahoma Falls Bridge in Washington. If you look this up, I, I think it was in the 20s or 30s, maybe 40s, um, but it was uh, many years ago, there was a bridge up in Washington that uh, had been across this channel and one day the wind came through the channel in just a way that uh, the resonance from the wind, the frequency of the wind, um, matched the resonant frequency of the bridge material. And the two, you know, had to occupy that same space and the bridge started, you know, kind of waving and wabbling until eventually it collapsed. Um, so you can imagine if a frequency can uh, can uh, take down a bridge, that, that's pretty powerful. But also with resonant frequency is it can retune. It, it doesn't always have to be destructive. It can be um, life-giving and it can be tuning and it can be harmonizing. So when you really have... Uh, something that's out of tune. And this is how we work a lot with sound healing. A lot of the work with sound healing, um, with tuning with the tuning forks, with using singing bowls and, and different instrumentation and things like that, is to really retune the body or retune the subtle energy centers even to the natural frequency um, that it's supposed to resonate at. So each chakra, each energy center has its own frequency. Many of the organs have their own frequency. Every part of the body really has its own frequency. And your energy, your, your energy system, your chi, your prana, um, all has its own flow of, of energy, which all has its own frequency as well. So it's learning to find these things um, through meditation, through practice, through understanding, through um, doing different sound work practices where you can retune those um, things that are out of tune back into an in-tune state. And then you then you feel normal, you feel natural again, everything kind of vibes the way that it's supposed to be. So that's a, just a, a little tidbit that I wanted to give there about sympathy, because sympathy really deals with that same idea. It's sympathetic resonance. You're resonating with the feeling of sympathy with another. You see someone on the street who's less fortunate than you, and you stop and you think, man, I really wish that person well. I hope that they can find a way to get back on their feet. I wonder what got them here in the first place, you know, and God bless them. Hope that they, they get back on their feet soon. You know, these kinds of things really just um, do create a resonance. And whether you said that to that person or not, you're sending that wave of love out to them. You're sending a thought, a kind, a kind resonant frequency to them. And, uh, and it does have an impact. And the more we do this, the more impactful we can be in the world, right? Because we're sending out these little frequencies of kindness and sympathy to people all day long. Um, he is dead whose heart is asleep. So yeah, if you're not awakened to that, um, that feeling of sympathy or you're not awakened to um, what's really present in the heart, then you're, you, you don't have much to give. You know, I've said this before too, you can't give the coins that you don't have in your own pocket. So if your heart's asleep and you're not awake with that, awakened with that sympathy um, or, or different feelings, different, different emotions and things like that that come through um, heart qualities, then, uh, then yeah, it's, the, the, it's as good as being dead, my friend, because you're not really living the fullness of life and you're not able to give something that you could reciprocate and receive back. So a part of how resonant frequency works is, right, you have to have one giving off the frequency in order for the other one to receive it, right? And the other one has to be receptive to it in order to pick it up.
and to be able to receive it and resonate it. So there's those two factors that are involved there and um, they don't always gel up. And especially if your heart is asleep, um, you're not awakened to that sympathy, um, then you're not going to feel that resonance. So just a couple thoughts that I had about today's bowl of sake. I could go on and on about this one, but uh, yeah, I just want to share a couple thoughts there. If you want more bowl of sake, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I put a new video up. We got a lot of exciting things coming to the channel real soon here. So I really appreciate everybody hanging in there, sticking it out with me and uh, checking out the bowl of sake every day. It's been an honor and a blessing to share it with you. And I got a lot more to share, my friends. So stay tuned and we will see you soon.